Hey there, Catherine DeLeon here, ready to rock out Focus Friday on February 23rd. Please give me one moment as I stream live into Facebook. Share to group. Find the funnel team group. <laughs> there we go. Hey there, Funnel Team. Catherine DeLeon here, ready to rock out Focus Friday with you. Please drop some comments and let me know if you can see and hear me okay. Doing a little testing before I keep going. <laughs> Let's see. Please drop some comments and let me know if you can. you see and hear me okay, guys? Catherine DeLeon here, ready to rock it out with you. If you are tuning in with me live, you should see a red live button inside of the Facebook group. Let me know, comment live in the chat if you can see and hear me. <laughs> hey, Daniel. Hey, Sonia. Awesome. Glad that you guys can see me. Perfect. And if you are not catching Focus Friday live with me in the Facebook group and you're catching the replay, be sure to hashtag replay in the comments. Now, I'm sure some of you already know exactly what I'm about to ask you. <laughs> if you have been, obviously, maybe not the newbies in the past two weeks, but what is the question that I'm about to ask you guys? Yes, and did you get the push notifications? I know I did. I got multiple ones, Daniel, so thank you so much. <laughs> so two weeks ago, I had uh, posted a challenge for you guys. I hosted Mindset Monday, and I kind of just want to recap on that today. So I did a journal challenge for those of you who know, and it's really just a challenge going from February 5th all the way to May 5th about you journaling your thoughts, your feelings, your uh, gratitude, your intentions for your business. Do you guys recall? <laughs> yeah, comment journal challenge in the comments if you recall. Newbies, I understand if you don't, <laughs> that's okay. No harm, no fall. Albert, I definitely see you. Shannon, good morning, everybody. Do those of you recall the journal challenge? Comment journal in the chat. And have you stuck to your word? If you accepted the challenge, have you stood to your word? Yes or no? Drop a yes if you have. Drop a no if you haven't. Sorry, my daughter, she's... Always when I go live, we gotta have difficulties. What's wrong, babe? One second. Why can't you fix this up, sweetie? Like, I asked you to help me help you, okay? Sorry, guys, mom life. You know, this never stops. <laughs> Here you go, babe. You can pick a new game, okay? Sorry. 
Okay, we got yes, 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 journal. Got awesome. Kate, Candice, Celeste. Yes, you got your journal. You've been consistent posting every night before 12 midnight. That's awesome. Awesome. Love to hear it. Even if, you know, you've got mom life going on, I make sure that I still, you know, pour into my journal every single day. So I'm glad to hear that you guys are have accepted the challenge and you're sticking to it. If you haven't, you know, it's okay. You know, take some accountability for yourself if you haven't. You know, I understand things happen, but the next 71 days, we have 71 days left. Be sure to eliminate your excuses. I don't care if it's, you know, two minutes, jot down a couple things, you know, your intentions for your business, because again, it's going to help you be able to reflect back on, you know, hey, I set this intention and I didn't, you know, follow through, or you get to reflect back like, oh my God, I was so nervous and scared to do this. Like I get to look back on this focus Friday and be like, oh my God, I used to be like really scared, really nervous to come on live with you guys and um, share and teach and inspire each and every single one of you. And again, I get to reflect back and just see, oh, I overcome that. Like it really wasn't that hard. It was kind of just a mind thing. So definitely eliminate your neck, your excuses for the next 71 days. Give it all you got. I'm confident that you will see a lot of growth within yourself at the end of the 90 day challenge. And if you are a newbie, you don't know what I'm talking about, there is a long standing post inside of the Facebook group. Um, I'm sure you could probably just search what uh, journal challenge and it will come up. And if you want to partake, which I highly encourage you to definitely do so no matter what day that you start, just get started. Um, and for those of you who have obviously been uh, doing your journal challenge, I just want to know, how do you feel? How are you feeling so far? We are at day 19 in the journal challenge. So drop me some comments, just one word. How are you feeling um, since you started journaling? Drop them quick, drop them quick. <laughs> and then we'll wrap this up. I don't know if my comments are coming through. If I can see them on my end, I feel like it's kind of, I don't know if it's slow, maybe it's just me. Albert says, amazing. Awesome, I love to hear it because I see your literally daily post of proof. Don't forget to post your proof if you can um, of your journals, that's amazing. Motivated, you feel honored, Candice, that's awesome. Jinkle, you feel great. I love to hear it. And that's, you know, obviously the main point in the journal challenges to obviously observe, of course, um, see your patterns, be able to self-improve, motivate yourself, uh, inspire yourself, push yourself. So I'm glad to hear that it has been a positive impact for you guys. So moving on, um, I'm looking down at my notes because I have some notes, guys. <laughs> I like, I felt like Mindset Monday, I was kind of like rushing through it. And I'm like, okay, today I need to kind of pace myself. Um, keep up the good work with that. But more importantly, uh, where should your focus be as of right now? Oh, the comments are delayed, Kiersey. <laughs> okay, the good to know. Uh, yeah, where should your focus be right now currently outside of the challenges? What and where should your focus be? Drop me a comment if you know what I'm talking about. Something launched on Tuesday, this past Tuesday, on Teachable Tuesday. Where should your focus be right now? Candace says on yourself. Celeste says getting people to the live training. Bingo. More YouTube videos, Albert. <laughs> Close. <laughs> so yes. Teachable Tuesday, we have just announced that there is going to be a live webinar next Tuesday at 8 p.m. Eastern. Usually um, the web, well, our Teachable Tuesdays are for paying members only, but next week you get to invite every one of your leads, every single one of your leads that you can possibly get to this webinar. You're, you can allow them to come join us live and someone is going, an expert is going to do the selling and telling for you. 
Okay, does that make sense? Drop a make sense in the chat if you're with me. If you're new, you just got started literally two days ago, five days ago, you may not even know what I'm talking about and that's okay. But definitely make sure that you, you're getting plugged in, you're going through the training. So that way you too can maximize out of this webinar, even if you're a newbie, even if you don't freaking even know what's going on, that's okay. <laughs> you still can participate in this as well. So that should be where your focus is right now. Don't sleep on this. It is literally gold. I managed to close multiple, multiple, multiple sales every single time we do these webinars. So again, even if you're a newbie, um, make sure that you do take part in it. Um, it's a great way to start to build and grow your business without having to do all the selling and telling and the talking and everything. So um, make sure that you are following the methods though, taught on Teachable Tuesday. Kirsty shared a document with you guys um, sharing how to maximize um, with your business, sharing um, you know, short form videos, obviously Facebook posts, even if you were to go live, methods on how to get your leads registered for uh, next Tuesday's webinar. So of course you have uh, post examples, you have short form videos examples inside of the document from Teachable Tuesday. If you haven't taught Teachable Tuesday, I'm gonna highly encourage you to go do that ASAP right after this call or whenever you have a moment. Thank you so much, Albert, for dropping that document in the comments. You guys can see that there. Um, so if you haven't watched Teachable Tuesday, be sure to get fully informed with you know the webinar that's going on next Tuesday and how you can maximize how you're going to structure your for short form videos to get people registered. So of course your how is your short form video, your Facebook po post, even if you were to go live and then following up with the DM formula as well. Okay, so this is, there is a rhyme and a reason why we do everything. And without the short form video, the content, and obviously following up the DM formula, how are you going to expect people to get there? Renly, can you come here, babe? What's wrong? Sorry, one moment. What's wrong? Huh? Okay, well, why are you crying? It's like every time I try to do a live, <laughs> this is what's going on. What's, what's the matter? You can ask for help, okay? I can't help you if you don't ask for help. What do you say? You're welcome. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> so like I was saying, short form video and then following up with a DM formula is so key. Okay, again, if you're not following these steps, how are you gonna expect to get people registered? You have to be able to show up, obviously, you want to be doing at least a minimum of three videos a day. Don't overthink it. This does not have to be anything hard or complicated and perfect. Stop trying to make everything perfect and literally just show up for yourself and your business. Okay. We have, again, examples of short form videos that you can use as well as post. So just get out there and start sharing so that way you can get people registered. Um, along with that and following the DM formula, you wanna make sure that you connect obviously with that lead if someone's asking. If you're saying in your content like, um, drop a comment of join or webinar if you want to attend live with me, right? And you're getting a whole bunch of comments. If people are commenting, you want to obviously DM that person with excitement you know, excited to share this live free webinar on how you can make a full-time income from home. Do you have a moment to get registered now? You need to make sure that you ask them, don't just be sending them your freaking link, okay? Don't just send them the link to get registered or get ourfreesystem.com. Make sure you ask them, do you have the time to register now? Because if you just send them the link and say they open the message and they're at work, and they have so much going on and they don't have time to get registered. Well, they've already seen and opened the message nine times out of 10 with their busy life. They're not going to probably come back and open the message. That's just how it usually works. So make sure that you ask your lead, do they have the time to register now? And they'll be like, yes, yes, I do. Again, with urgency, spots are filling up. Make sure you get registered now or get registered now. Um, 
And then obviously you're gonna want that confirmation as well. So if they're like, yes, I have time now, great. Drop the link for them and tell them to screenshot you the confirmation. I love saying that because not only are they giving me confirmation that they did um, sign up or register for the webinar, but it's also a screenshot in their phone. Like literally tomorrow, the next day, you know, two days later, three days later, like they're not going to forget about it, especially if they're going through their phone, right? They have their photos. They literally took a screenshot of the confirmation. So it's, it's a great uh, way to obviously connect with them get the confirmation and have a reminder for them as well that, hey, I registered for this. And then of course, let them know that, hey, I'm gonna follow up with you day of 15 minutes prior to make sure that, you know, you got your spot or whatever the case may be. Make sure that they know, hey, I'm gonna follow up with you so that come webinar day on next Tuesday, 8 p.m. or prior, you're going to obviously reach out to your leads and tell them like, hey, are you coming? got a spot for you, spots are filling up, whatever it is the case may be. And again, why you want that confirmation is because you want to have track. You want to have track of like, who have you invited? Because again, if you're just sharing your link everywhere and you're not knowing who's getting registered, you don't have no confirmation, like how are you going to follow up with these leads? Um, and I don't care if you have a hundred followers, five followers, you know, it, that does not matter. You want to keep track of every single lead that you have, you know, getting registered to come so you can follow up with them before and you can follow up with them. During, it is so great to obviously have you attend as well. Kirsty, drop the link, um, getourfreesystem.com where you can get registered because again, Teachable Tuesday is not going to be our regular Teachable Tuesday, but you still want to show up for your leads. That way you can connect with them live during. And then once the webinar is wrapped up, you better get ready to go. <laughs> you better get ready. You better expect. If you are not expecting sales right now, that's probably one reason why you're not going to get sales. You need to already expect that you're going to have your registered leads. You are going to get registered leads. They are going to show up and you are going to close sales. But again, you need to participate as well. You need to show up, connect with those leads. And then afterwards, of course, if they have questions, you could, you can obviously reach out to them, pay the webinar wrapped up, you know, ask them if they have any questions. When would you like to get started? You know, what, what package are you thinking about going with? Literally like, it, assume the sale, assume the sale and you will close the sale. So um, any questions on that? Do any of you guys have questions on that? I know it's a little bit delayed, so I'll give you a minute. But if anybody does have questions about um, getting your leads registered, content, um, following up, let me know. I'm happy to answer any questions that you've got. But the main point uh, for Focus Friday is obviously the journal challenge, but also the webinar and making sure you guys are implementing all of the strategies that we teach you, uh, especially from Teachable Tuesday. That is That document is literally gold. So Albert just dropped it. Let me see if I can copy it again. I don't know if it'll let me. I don't know if it'll let me. Let me see. Oh, I got it. <laughs> I do, babe. Okay, so I just dropped that again. So make sure you guys are following the document. Just that I was like, did that even work? It did. Oh, thanks, Albert. You're so awesome. If a lead wants to attend the webinar, we send the link, right? Are you meaning the like whole uh, Zoom link or the getourfreesystem.com? You should be sending out, I mean, I send out getourfreesystem.com. Um, if you guys are putting this in your content, as Kirstie mentioned on Tuesday, make sure that you're actually capitalizing the first letter of each of the words. So get, obviously G is capitalized, R, the O is capitalized, 
free. So F is capitalized and system um, S is capitalized. That way, whenever someone is reading your post, right, or seeing your reel come up, it's very legible. They can just read it. They can be able to type it in, whatever the case may be. So you want to just send them get ourfreesystem.com to get registered. That is correct. Candice, you'll check out the doc first. You might ask a question later today, if not on that doc, which I know will be your rock. Thank you. Of course, definitely make sure again, you dive into that because there's so much um, knowledge in there for you guys to really crush it for this webinar. And I want you to, I want you to show up for yourself. I want you to put out content attracting um, people who obviously want to get registered, people who want to work directly with you. Um, but of course they can't get there unless you show up and you share, okay? So be sure to do that. Um, I don't think there's anything else that I have to cover. Uh, maybe besides, of course, after the webinar is over, um, don't think that you guys like, oh, well, that's really it. No, you still want to make sure that you maximize on the replay. So in the document, there is uh, scripts as well that you want to be following after the replay. So it's not just up until it is also after the replay is over with. Like I co sales shoot a week after the replay is already done. So uh, be sure to follow that document and use it show up for yourself so that way you can maximize the heck out of it. Um, obviously, Teachable Tuesday is not going to be Teachable Tuesday for you, but it is for your leads, but still be sure to get registered. Um, I feel like I ran through this really quickly. <laughs> I felt like last week, I I don't know, I, I went like 30 minutes. So I'll ask one more time. Or Kirsty, Daniel, do you guys have anything that you want me to go over or touch on? Mm -hmm. I'm happy to. I'll give it a moment as you guys comment. Thanks, Kirsty. <laughs> Appreciate you. Uh, you have not started mm -hmm. using the clonable short videos. I can start now, question mark. Why not? <laughs> Why not, Jinkle? Yes, get to it. It is literally like, I mean, it's already for you. It's already presented for you. Just go dupe it in your own way. As Kirstie mentions, you know, if she's dancing around in these videos or you see me dancing around or whatever the case may be, like that doesn't mean that you actually have to dance, okay? <laughs> you don't have to do it to a T. Be your, you know, share your own personality. You know, if you're cooking, if you're walking, if you're with your kids, your animals, like you're literally just being yourself, tossing a ball, playing in the yard, whatever the case may be, just make the content, okay? Make it, you're not gonna be able to analyze anything until you actually go do the thing. So yes, go clone the heck out of those short form videos. I'm sure Kirstie will be very proud of you <laughs> as well as myself and Daniel and Bill and everyone else. But more than anything, do it for yourself so that way you can get those leads registered. If you guys don't have any more questions, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up Focus Friday. I'm confident that you know today you got some value out of this call and you know how to take action over the weekend, even though it's a weekend, yes, you should still be working your business like heck to get these leads registered. So mm -hmm. that way you can have sales on Tuesday after the webinar is over. So have a wonderful weekend and I will see you guys at Focus, oh, nope, Teachable Tuesday. Have a great rest of your weekend. Oh. <laughs>